Also, all the hugs, uh, retro gamer. Missy, Misty Squishable. Squish, only as squishable as you want me to be. Damn it. Ooh. Damn it! <laughs> also, I've been re I've been check re listening to Bring Me the Horizon. Why did I not like these guys again? They, they're good. they're always constantly uh, criticized for like changing their style and alienating their audience, which I don't have a problem with. To be kind of honest, I do. But to be fair, I do respect the fact that they literally just up and go. You know what? We want to change our sound. We don't just want to be pigeonholed to one genre of music, and that's it. And, that's, and I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I give them a lot of credit for that. They literally went from a deathcore, you know, emo-looking group to literally composing a goddamn song for Kaido Kojima's um, Death Stranding. Hideo Kojima's. Hideo Kojima's uh, Death Stranding, which led to well, the... Hmm? Like, for me, when it came to, like, being interested in more genres of music, I'd say my introduction to other genres was Gorillaz. Oh yeah, definitely gorillas. With me, it's kind of um, it was um, okay for a technically. I guess you can probably say it was technically gorillas, but I feel like it was also um, an old art teacher we had who literally her entire thing was playing world music and a lot of music from like um, Bollywood soundtracks. Cause she had a thing for Bollywood. Hmm. Oh, and of course, my mom and dad being huge fanat, being, you know, Mexican, they played a lot of music that were either ballads, norteños, colderidos, all that lovely stuff. I love how to complete certain segments of this game, you need kinstones. Just a lot of kinstones, much to Golden's hatred. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no more kinstones! The game, you want more kinstones? Okay. <laughs> I swear, I ought to, like, make a funny little, like, transition joke. Many more kinstones later. Dee 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 dee! Dee 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 dee! And just, like, dee, amplify dee, dee, the dee, noise, dee. the item found fanfare. I think I messed up the tune. <laughs> That's Final Fantasy. Hmm. <laughs> Um, in regards to um, Legend of Zelda, I did run into that creepy pasta of Ben Drowned. Still holds, <coughs> up. Still holds up well. I've seen the video of Ben Drowned. Uh, yeah, kind of holds up well, but it's kind of bland. It's it's kind of kind of a I don't know. I mean, not my problem... taste anymore. Well, the problem with the Ben Drowns uh, creepypasta is that it started off strong with, you know, the whole Majora's Mask element. But then the dude, but then um, Jet Usable started expanding it more beyond that into an ARG, which, again, credit to him. He probably spent a lot of money trying to do this thing. <coughs> but, bless, you. bless you. But considering no, that many people. No! Oh. God considering damn that it, people... it happened again. Close. Oof. But considering that more people are familiar with the bend with the uh, Majora's Mask thing instead of the ARG elements, it, it didn't help matters. Plus the fact oh. that he del that he put the thing on hiatus for nearly a decade and then released it after and then pretty much completed it recently. <laughs> God damn it! Damn. Man. No! I'm not gonna lie, I kinda want a disc set up like this. Son of a bitch. A little bit different. Like the image and stuff, but just that kind of. You fuck off. There. Set up with the shelves and shit. Right. <clears throat> Although mini coolers are like fucking. Not mini coolers, mini fridges are like fucking Expensive. energy drains. Yeah. And you don't want, with how much uh, power is right now, you don't want too much energy drain. Especially power considering thirst. it's winter, especially considering it's winter time. Oh yeah, we're gonna be paying for the propane or whatever the fuck the gas is to heat the place. 
Do we have a gas bill at our apartment complex? I don't know. I need to ask Lissy. <laughs> oh, and uh, apparently there was E. coli found in my town's water supply, so we're on a boil water or order. Oh uh, god, I remember you mentioned that. Am Amazon ha uh, found an entire <laughs> layer of mold in its water filter. Of course. Ooh. Yeah. We we literally have stopped drinking the water be because that <coughs> that's gross. Hmm. And you hear about the Jackson, the Flint shit, and it's just like <clears throat> eh. Oh, who died? Oh. oh, they're back. Sorry, I, I clicked on the wrong thing. I meant to press on the gaming chat thing, and then I I clicked on the wrong thing. Ugh. And bang. They're fine. <sighs> All right. So what's next? I'm not seeing any updates on that either. Whether it's safe to. So I'm guessing that's Lon Lon Ranch. So I'm going to go to the side. Looking at a playthrough video. So like This is why Lon you Lon should Lon always check your water sources, people. You never know what you're putting in your mouth. Drink filtered or bottled. I mean, I use a Brita filter, but that's more to save on water bottles and shit. On bottled uh, water, I mean. Our household has two. One that I brought from my place. Wait, that's how you get across? Why did I think of that? Uh. Oh, wait, I gotta get out of here. Somehow. Yeah, um, there's still no update on the boiled water thing. Yay, I have to get water outside or boil it. Yes, yeah. No. Do, 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 do. What else is in here? Nice. Yeah, I heard just I uh, just heard a cold one. Actually, on. since we're on the topic, uh, since we were on the topic of old creepy pastas, I remember yeah. the first creepy pasta I ever heard was actually a Pokemon creepy pasta called Strangled Red. Do uh, do any of you know about it? No. I know that one. What was it called? Uh, Strangled, Strangled Red. Red. No, I, I, it, it sounds like the usual creepypasta Pokemon oh, game. Basically, I love Strangled Red. I think it's actually one of the more interesting Pokemon creepypastas out there. I agree. I even have a background for it on my computer. Ooh, nice! For okay, me, so my first love for creepypasta will always be Slender Man. Oh, I got man, deep so into Slender shit. I was watching, like, fucking uh, Marble Hornets and Everyman Hybrid and shit and Tribe 12. And, uh... <laughs> we don't talk, we don't talk about it. Tribe 12. And I, I, I even... I was even conceiving my channel at first to be a Slender channel where I was making my own Slender series. God, that would have been interesting. But, yeah, I like Slender, man. And, and I know that many people tend to frown upon it because of, um... The 2014 incident, but I still feel the character has merits. It's just yeah, I don't. That's not a fault there of the is. character. It's it, a, it really it's isn't a fault of character. character. I heard the movie was shit, though. Yeah, the yes. movie is infamously terrible. I mean, I had the ability to see that for free in 28. Well, not for free because I had the fucking movie pass at the time, and I still was just like, eh. yeah, it, it's bad. I mean, I tried to hold out fate for it. Like, I was like, it can't. Be. Like, I'm gonna try to see if it's gonna be passable. But then I read all the summaries and all the backs. You know, what the hell the did I just find? Did. <clears throat> uh. Ask Riley. Do you plan to stream Slender the Eight Pages close to Halloween? Actually, Equestria Guy, once I finished Resident Evil 7, I was thinking about seeing if, like, a few people like Aeon or Solar or Mastico want to join me for some Phasmophobia. Oh, yes, 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 they're spooky hey. ghosts, and your paranormal hey. investigators were living out my childhood dream. 
You yes. literally are a Ghostbuster. Also, Misty, I think... Did you know that Strangled Red is actually part two of a trilogy? I did not, actually. Yeah, I didn't I... know that either until I went to TV Tropes, and yeah, it confirms that. Apparently the writer, and like, apparently these, these two, the part one and part three, were just lost to history, and it was only until like a certain website they were able to find these. Uh, really? But apparently, apparently they're just your standard, the if you perform a certain move about? in like a Pokemon cartridge, this will happen, and apparently it references the events of Strangled Red. Huh. I'm it just reading the chat, and somebody mentioned something about what is it called the the beetle from Donkey Kong sixty four. And yeah. somebody mentioned the penguin ways from Mario sixty four. I'm like, dude, the pe like the penguin is competitive, but he's not a cheating asshole like the beetle is. Oh yeah, the the, the beetle cheats. Yeah, he's a cheating dick face. Like, God, dude, that was. To this day, that is one of the worst experiences I have ever had in a video game. Like, everyone hates that. As far as I know, everyone hates that part. Like, it's been several yeah. years. I looked point. up I don't Donkey even... Kong sixty four Beetle, Beetle, and there's like five hundred videos on rage inducing uh, Beetle part of the. Well, <laughs> it also doesn't through. help that the music is all like silly, like circus music, like da 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 da. Like it, like the game is laughing at you. Yeah. It's just no. That is so mean spirited. It's like when the the dog from uh, Duck Hunt, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, no, I remember that piece of shit. Now I, I need to make a picture of Misty doing kid. the doing the dog impression from uh, oh, from that no. game. Oh, that's okay, Blue Griffin. We're uh, we're all uh, able we're all able to have our own interests. I actually got an interest in creepy pastas after I them. came across this channel. It's the same channel I found Strangled Red called Creepsmit Pasta, and the first ever video that I found of his was that not actually Strangled Red. It was the true story of My Little Pony, where. Oh, yeah. it, where it references how Lauren Faust was inspired to uh, create the characters <clears throat> in the series after these chil uh, children that died. I, re I remember hearing about that. Jim Fear read that to me. Yeah. Well, um, oh, Jim Fear. I haven't talked to him in ages. He was such is... a chill dude. I loved him. There's I actually... D with him. Yeah. The clever thing. Uh, the clever thing about uh, the story is that it. Uh, it it makes sense, but in actuality, unfortunately, there is no proof that any of those people really existed. So <laughs> its believability is kind of shot. But I think it's a very interesting story, regardless. I still I mean, think it's I, cool. I mean, to be fair, I think that that story takes a lot of inspiration from the Rugrats theory creepy pasta. Hello. How am I supposed Hi, to Jesse. Move? We're talking about creepy pastas. Beware. Um, what she else? loves creepy pastas. Yeah. Well, I'm saying that more in case her daughter's little ears are around. Oh. Okay. Yeah, fair. I'm gonna murder. Um, let's see. Also, just in mentioned... case there might be little ears around. Also, Missy, you mentioned creepy pasta, and I just got sad. What do you mean, why? Because, well, a while back, I mean, creepy pasta was um. Well, let's just say some controversy came out about him. What do you mean? Uh, what uh, happened? Of creeps with pasta. Uh. I won't go into big detail, but long story short, he got into some huge accusations. And while he did a response video kind of disproving it, it wasn't until later on more information came out that pretty much revealed, oh yeah, he was, um, this is true. There we go. Finally. W Okay, I give me the story in private chat if you're not gonna be specific. Yeah, I don't want to be specific, so I'll just <laughs> Pacific Rim. I said specific. I know, but it came out as Pacific at first. The I'm so sorry, I swear on my words! The... No, I, I do the same thing sometimes. I just. <laughs> I think with um, me and Creepypastas, the first one I heard, <laughs> the one I read, was uh, Pokemon. Lost Silver, 
and then Squidward know... suicide. Oh gosh, okay, Squidward I know. Suicide. I know the silver. Wow, Scott, the lost silver one. I know the lost silver one. I've actually empty heard bubble. the audio. I just feel empty inside. Oh please don't! Please yeah, don't! This, this, yeah, the um, Squidward suicide. I know many people tend to make fun of it these days because oh. you know it started a terrible trend of creepy pasta, uh, particularly the lost episode ones. But I still could, I still think it's a pretty decent one, mainly because it's you know it, originally at the time it was considered fresh. Yeah. Oh, Faith, how could you? Yeah, that's why I kind of get very do? annoyed. She what will. again. Yeah, guys, um, $25, and I get to 2300 At the 2300 mark, I get to recite mm. the, um, what is it, the Pledge of Allegiance, uh, well, uh... Burp. Yeah, well, Belch, like, Belch and the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh my uh, god. What? How much of the money is uh, GoFundMe going to take out of it? Because I know they get a portion of the donation, don't they? Uh, there's some kind of, like, I don't know exactly. Or if anything, people say, are they going to say, Hey, Golden, Carnival Night Zone from Sonic 3, or Hey, Retro, Flying Battery Zone. <laughs> Golden hates Carnival Night Zone. Yeah, I do. It's because of the spinning barrel. Sonic Heroes! Sonic Heroes! Why are you singing Sonic Heroes? <laughs> Just because I want to. Okay. <laughs> As I was saying, um, yeah, Carnival Night Zone, that fucking barrel. Dude, the barrel is yeah. so easy to figure out. I don't know why you're also fucking retarded. <clears throat> Suck a there dick, is... Cyber Shell. There is so much shit coming out this month and next month that I'm just like, uh, I want to. I'm gonna wait and see what the reviews are for Sonic Frontiers before I give it a try. Same. Fair. Sonic <laughs> Frontiers. It's, yeah, um... that's a new. It's an overworld Sonic game. Yeah, it looks like Sonic, but in like Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild type of thing. I I hope. Yeah. Pokemon good. did it first. They did a Battle Frontier first. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that's what I thought. That's what imme I immediately thought when you when you said uh, Sonic Frontiers. So yeah. No. I... Squish the Riley. It, it looks like it has promise, but I've been burned too many times before. Mm, well, not to fair. mention whenever like another major Sonic title comes out, there's a good chance it may not do well, like Sonic Boom or Sonic 06. But this. Yeah, one, that's what like, I mean. I... I'm hoping it does well because this one they actually took their time to try to make it. Like they spent a good couple of years. And I hope that it pays yeah. off for them. <laughs>